Next, we're back in France, following the extraordinary story of how a bird that was eradicated from the country over a hundred years ago is on the verge of being reintroduced. Professional falconer Jacques-Olivier Traver is the man behind that plan. Through his special relationship with white-tailed eagles, he's managed to develop a technique that is hoped will allow captive-bred eagles to be released and to survive in the wild. The technique requires nine months of one-on-one -on -one training. First, he teaches the eagles the basics of wild flying over difficult terrains. Then, how to hunt for themselves. But before the eagles are considered ready for release, the birds must pass one last test. Flying in difficult weather conditions, high in the mountainous ski resort of Morzin. Jacques Olivier is taking his latest pupil up to 1,500 meters for the final test. It's on the upper extreme of an eagle's natural habitat. But if a bird that has been hand-raised can fly here, it can fly anywhere. When you are in mountain during winter, it's a bad environment because the wind comes down the mountains and push the eagle in the valley. He can't fly very well. He has to do big effort to stay in the mountain to control his flight. And it's one of the most difficult exercises that I can do with a bird. But when he's able to do that, it means that he fly like a wild one. This eagle is trained to fly to Jacques Olivier on command. But up here, with high crosswinds and the added challenge of having to avoid the potentially fatal overhead cables, the stakes are high. Up, up. The eagle launches its four kilogram body into the air. Using its sheer power and primary flight feathers at the tips of the wings to become airborne. As you can see, the wind is bad. It's difficult for him to stay. You, you see, you can see that he flies so slowly because the wind is bad, you have to control his flight. No, it's good, it's good. The rapid descent is the toughest challenge yet. Air currents become unstable the closer it gets to the ground. These conditions are exactly like those the eagles will have to master if they're ever able to catch prey on their own. Yeah, he's coming back now, it's perfect. Up, Victor, up! Even in these blustery conditions, the eagle is able to slow himself down from a 60 mile per hour dive to land precisely on Jacques Olivier's hand. Hey. Victor! Nice work, because today, as you can see, it's not very good weather condition for flying. At the top of the mountain, the wind was bad, he was pushing down, but he, he worked hard to turn in bad weather condition. Follow us. Now he's ready to go into the wild, for sure. Introducing captive bred animals to the wild successfully is one of the hardest things to do in wildlife conservation. But through the dedication of one man and his extraordinary relationship and understanding of his birds, the white-tailed eagle could soon, once again, be flying free in the French Alps. <laughs> <laughs>